Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new offline maps feature, which was introduced in Handy GPS 12.5 for the paid version. Okay, so the simplest way um, is to bring up the Google Maps page, zoom to the extents of the area that you're likely to want to go walking in using an offline map. Once you've got the zoom area you want, select from the menu the download map tiles option choose the tile server that you'd like or you can enter your own URL which includes um, zoom x and y in curly brackets um, which are substituted for the actual zoom um, co column and row when the URL is used. So in this case I'll just choose the cycle map. So the defaults are already set up for the zoom the, um, and the bounding box of the area you want to download um, when you come from the Google Maps page. Okay, so then all you do is press the download button. It tells you approximately what size the download's going to be, how many tiles. Um, at the moment, this is limited to 100 tiles because I found that with more than 100 tiles, there were problems. So 100 tiles it is at the moment. But that's still quite enough to cover a, a walking area. Um, you just, it just means you can't have as high a zoom as you would otherwise. So now it's downloading the tiles. Um, as you can see here, there's a red X, which is the cancel button. There's the progress bar, and it also shows you how many tiles have been downloaded. Um, of course, when you're downloading tiles, you also have to have a connection, uh, either Wi-Fi or cellular data. Um, so the intention here is that you download the map tiles you need before you head out on your walk. And then when you head out and you walk and you find that you don't have cellular coverage for Google Maps, you can switch over to using the downloaded tiles and uh, that's enough to um, get you out of trouble um, until we get back. But you do need to do this preparatory step of um, downloading the map tiles for the area that you're interested in first. Okay, so that's just about done. When it's done, I'll take us back to the Google Maps page and um, we'll see what we've got. Okay, it says it's done. We press the back button to go back to the Google Maps page. We see we've got the Google Maps still showing, but every refresh, which is every 10 seconds, um, it will draw the tiles then. Okay, so we can see, if we zoom out a bit, we can see that it's covered an area slightly larger than the view, a rectangle that we had, which is what we want. Um, so that when we go for our walk, we're assured that the area we were viewing will be covered by the maps. Now, as you can see, this cycle map has some contour lines. Um, so I'll turn off, now we can turn off the Google Maps layer altogether. And then this is purely, now it's purely the offline tiles that we're seeing. Okay. Have a create a waypoint there. There we go. So, that's how offline maps works. There is one other way to access offline maps, which is from the menu on the main page. Down the bottom there, there's download map tiles. This just brings up the last defaults. And obviously it's gonna be a lot harder to work out what the extents and the zoom level you need if you go this method, but it will work just the same. Um, there's a range of um, tile servers in here. Um, MapQuest Open Aerial is sort of like a satellite view, um, although it only has limited um, resolution unless you're in the US. Um, as that note says there, 0 to 11 globally. US, you can actually go, I think, um, maybe up to 18, I'm not sure. And Thunder Forest, there's a few other layers. Thunder Forest Outdoors is quite good. Um, but of course, if you want to enter your own, you can look up the URL, as long as it matches this pattern. Um, the extension can be um, JPEG or PNG, that's fine. Um, but you, you just need to get the URL and then you can use whatever tile server you want. Okay, so thanks for watching. That's how you use offline maps in Handy GPS.